Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here a, another pen ink comparison video and this is the Pelican Edelstein inks comparison number one. So I think let's go and swab up some inks. So the first ink is Pelican Edelstein Adventurine. Comes with this lovely bottle. So let's swab up this ink. And this is a really lovely green. Let's do a second pass there. So this is Pelican. And it's Edelstein. And it's Adventurine. But that is a really lovely green ink. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Jade. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here that this is a more of a bluer green. Second pass. Just so you can see the difference there. So this is Pelican. And it's Edelstein. And it's Jade. So if you like a bluish green ink, this is probably the ink for you. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Aqua Marine. Let's do an ink swatch. Now I always think in my mind that these two inks are quite similar, but they are actually quite different. So we'll do a second pass there. So this is Pelican Edelstein. And it's aquamarine. But you can see the color difference there between those two inks. I'd say there's a little bit more sort of blue in the aquamarine versus the jade. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this was, I think, maybe a 2018 edition uh, ink of the year. It may have been 2017. I think it was 2018. But this is quite a nice brown. I, I got it because I was into browns at the time. And I thought I would get it. But I found very quickly that this was a drier ink. I say drier, drier than I was liking at the time. So this is Pelican, Edelstein, and it's Smoky Quartz. Now, strangely enough, I've been using this more recently, and I've found it actually to be more wetter in some of the nibs I've been putting in recently. So I think it really does just sort of really make a difference on what type of nib that you put it in. I think originally I was putting it in a Joe-O nib and uh, it was just, for me at the time, quite dry. Uh, but I've since put it in some Visconti nibs, which are pretty wet nibs, and uh, I've actually been liking it since. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Moonstone, and this is the ink of 2020. And unfortunately, there are obviously, because of coronavirus, no Pelican hubs available this year. They were cancelled. So I did buy a bottle of this ink because I do like grey inks. 
So let's do an ink swatch. Now, I do find this to be quite a wet ink in terms of sort of more watery rather than lubricated. And I do find that this is quite a pale ink as well. So this is Pelican, Edelstein, and it's Moonstone. But if you like light grey inks, and this is probably a good ink to get. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Sapphire. And we'll do an ink swatch here. And we'll do a second pass. So we can see the difference in a wet versus a dry nib. So this is Pelican, Edelstein, and it's Sapphire. But oh, that is a really beautiful sapphire colored ink. And then the last ink today is Pelican Edelstein Tanzanite. So we'll do an ink swatch. And this is quite a dark ink. A little bit more, I'd say, too dark for me. I typically tend to like a lighter coloured ink. So this is Pelican. Edelstein and it's Tanzanite. I think it is I T E, isn't it? Yeah. Just checking the bottle there. So let's take a look at these inks in a little bit more detail. So the first ink we have here is Pelican Edelstein Adventurine. And this is a really nice green. I really do like this a lot. It's a little bit more of a midpoint green, but it has some lighter shading areas going on there. Um, it's not a hugely shading ink, and there's no sheen to it, but it's a really nice color for me. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Jade, and this is more of a bluish green color, and there's a little bit more shading going on that you can see around the pooled areas here, but there's no sheening going on there. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Aquamarine, and you can see here between a wet nib and a dry nib the difference in how that color looks. It does have quite a bit of shading going on, um, and I want to say it wants to try and sheen, but it just can't quite make it. It's almost there, but not quite. The next ink is Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz, which is a really lovely brown ink. Uh, it's a little bit more like a, a horse chestnut color. It's quite a dark ink when you have it on a wet nib. Uh, if it's in a dry nib, then it's going to be more of a lighter sort of uh, chestnut color there. Uh, there's not really much shading going on and no sheening either. The next one is Pelican Edelstein Moonstone, and this is the 2020 ink of the year. And this is quite a nice grey ink. So if you have it in a wet nib, you're going to see quite a darker grey here than in a dry nib. Now, I want to say that it's trying to sheen. I'm seeing some like yellowy patches here on the color, almost like a goldy color, but it's not able to quite come out yet. So it's almost there, it's almost sheening. And I think it, it probably is, it's just not, you're not seeing it. But I can definitely see some yellow or gold around here and a little bit more around here as well. The next ink is one of my favorites, and this is Pelican Edelstein Sapphire. 
and you can see here there is a lot of shading going on you can see here around these pulled areas you can see between the wet and a dry nib there as well now there isn't any sheening going on though but it does shade quite a bit and then the final ink is Pelican Edel Sign Tanzanite. And this is an ink that is really, to me, more of a blue-black ink. Um, it has a little bit of shading, not a lot though, but you can see mostly between the wet and the dry. But it does have some quite nice sheen going on there. But it's very difficult to actually see, but you can get a glimpse of that there. So... It's, it's a nice ink, but I, as I said before, am not really uh, into blue-black ink so much. So for me, it's not an ink that I would normally write with. But I know a lot of people are into blues and blacks and blue-blacks. And uh, I, it, I can understand the reason why. It's just for me, I don't know, it just doesn't excite me as much as a coloured ink, perhaps. So... Uh, I would much prefer a more coloured ink like a jade or a, an adventurine and something along those lines really. So that's my Pelican Edelstein inks comparison video number one. If there are any inks here that you do like the look of that you haven't seen before then do let me know in the comments below. Likewise, if there are any inks I have not showcased yet in this Pelican Edelstein series of ink comparisons, then do let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can check those inks out. So that's my Pelican Edelstein inks comparison number one video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.